welcome to French Prog! Yay! I'm Brian Colley, and the host of the show, and let me introduce you to our wonderful improvisers. I'm, I'm Cameron Smith. I'm Rita Hanch. I'm Courtney, and I'm the captain of the Blue Team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Megan Lavota, I'm not the captain. I'm Connor Hills. I'm Amanda Matucci, and I chose both teams, so I think I'm the captain. <laughs> Let me explain what French Prov is. What we're going to do is we are going to binge the Fringe Festival for you. Um, in this uh, magic box over here, I have all the shows that are in the Fringe. <laughs> so what we will do is we will randomly draw a show from the box, and we will read the show's description, and then the team will have three minutes to perform that show for you. <laughs> see how many shows they can get through in, in one hour. Um, and that's basically it. That's first problem. Or is it? <laughs> there are a couple of rules. Um, if anyone on the team has seen the show, then they don't get to participate. Their other team members have to do it. Because um, they can't have seen the show already. Um, if everyone on that team has seen the show, then it goes to the other team. Yay! And they get to perform the show. Um, but most importantly, after they perform their scene, they get judged by the critic, which might be one of you. Um, there might be some other rules. <laughs> They're not really that important. Because we're here to binge the fringe, so let's do the fringe club. By drawing our first show, if you will, so we can <laughs> yeah. And which color team would you like to go first, red or blue? Uh, let's go blue. Blue teams first, yeah. We'll remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, their show is. The son of a man. So I have to ask, has anyone on this blue team seen the son of a man? I've never seen the son of a man. I've never <laughs> seen the son of a man. Good. Um, let me ask the audience. Anyone from this show here in the audience tonight? I can't see you, but has anyone in the audience seen this show yet here at Convention? Yeah? That's because their first show's tomorrow. <laughs> So nobody's seen it. Um, I know you're all anxious to go tomorrow. Um, he's actually from out of town, so he'll, he's only doing this weekend, or he leaves Tuesday. So yeah, so you only got a short window to see this show. Um, but we're going to give you a good sneak peek of the show here tonight <laughs> with our blue team. They will have three minutes to perform Son of a Man. Let me read the description for you so you know what it's about. So thank you. <laughs> Uh, Award-winning storyteller Cooper Bates thought his life was complete until a cryptic call from his estranged sister revealed a shocking secret about their father's uh, uh, about their father. Hmm. <laughs> a gesture of a legendary apology potentially worth millions. In this spellbinding one-man show, Cooper navigates a past shrouded in mystery and embarks on a quest for forgiveness. The son of a man delves into family secrets, identity, and the transformative power of truth. Let's see what they can do. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, esteemed storyteller. Cooper. <laughs> It's your sister. <gasps> oh, Esmeralda. Yes, <laughs> but I can't speak long. I have to tell you something. Well, okay. get it out. It's about Dad. Oh. Yeah. What did you tell? He's... 
He's a super villain. <laughs> I can't say anything else. Ah, boo, ah, boo, ah, boo, ah, boo, ah, boo, ah, boo. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to. I need to retrace her steps. Where? Where would she have found this information? Um. Dad's house. Let's go. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Son. Hello, father. <laughs> what brings you to my villa? Oh, uh, <laughs> so um, well, I I received I'll, I'll step in. Okay. Um, I received a strange phone call from your daughter, Esmeralda. You remember her, of course, my sister. <laughs> Yes, it's been years. Mm -hmm. What'd she have to say? I brought you some grapes for you. This is my assistant. Oh, oh. Gertrude. Well done. Oh. Hello, Gertrude. <laughs> um, well, she just, she had something interesting to say about you potentially being, um, what was the word? She, uh, like, Oh, <laughs> ah, yes. Let's cut to, to I break a wine bottle. Well, yes, she she said that you were a supervillain, in fact. Um, oh, how she stretches the truth. Well, I I was just gonna before we get too far, I was gonna say that I was like okay with it. Like, I think there's a lot of, like, marketing opportunities that we can have with this. Yes, LinkedIn up with it all. It's a bottle down. Gertrude. We. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up, son. I am a villain. But. I'm a villain in an upcoming one act play. <laughs> Gertrude? Gertrude, uh, I wrote, wrote the it. play. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. When do you open? That's the thing. I, uh, I'm going overseas, and um, I don't want you to come. I don't want you to come to the show. You judge me, tell us, dear. Since no one has seen the show, because no one can have seen the show yet, we'll have to call in the critic, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Let me introduce the critic, Ms. Tara Varney. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tara, if you could uh, tell us what you thought of the show. Well, um, I worked with Cooper for many years in Europe. Um, devising the show, and uh, the best thing that I can say about this is that you all look great in blue. <laughs> I mean, that's a compliment, right? That's a, take what you can get. They do look in blue. So, yes, uh, the next question is, how many points would you like to give them? Ten points. Ten points. Ten, Ten points. and a half. Oh, oh yeah. right. Let's make your eyes pop. The blue. No, no. I run. This is my thing. I run. That's a lot. All right. We have to work off. That's French prop, folks. Let's do it again. <laughs>